Now, of course, with the analog side, remember you have the four, the four voices, however, you have eight total oscillators. But on the digital side, that's where you're going to really get all your polyphony. So if you really need to play those really big, thick chords, that's where you're really going to get it. So you're thinking like, wow, man, what if I wanted to do one of those really uh, just huge sounding, soft, you know, super saw um, rolling desk pads? Well, you can easily get that, that sound from the digital side. You can just call up the pad. Of course, you can select any of the waveforms that you want to create this. Um, so you can simulate the, uh, the super saw kind of sound very easily. But the thing that's really nice is you could take this digital sound and you can put it through the analog filter. Okay, now remember, we can cross-pollinate these filters. So I can have the analog side going through the digital filter if I want, or the digital side going through the analog filter, vice versa, however you want to do it. It's very, very, um, um, it's very well-rounded. But in this case, I'm going to have the, uh, the uh, digital pad sound going through the analog filter. It's nice and warm, very cool.